Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Lytham Golf Academy and today I've got a brand new driver in my hand. We've got the Ping G400. So we've got the new G400 driver from Ping. So I've got this 10.5 degree, I've got it down to 9.5, but we've got a new thinner, more flexible face. We've still got turbulators on top, we've still got the Dragonfly technology on the back. But we've got a more streamlined aerodynamic shape of head, which is apparently going to reduce drag up to 40% in the downswing and increase club head speed. We've got more weight at the back of the club head, so much higher MOI. So it should be a nice long forgiving golf club. So we can see, guys, you know, for me, this listening to what ping are claiming this is just an improvement on the previous one they're not coming out and making any over the top claims we're talking about still got some very good te technology in there with the turbulators and the dragonfly technology still got the vortex but higher moi so more forgiving on those off center hits a thinner face which again should give us more speed with those off center hits and Reduced drag, which in theory should get me a bit more club head speed. But we're going to hit five real balls on GC Quad. I'll give you some feedback on kind of looks and feel. Um, for me personally, looking forward to getting the LS Tech in my hands. Um, but we're going to hit five real ones with just the standard G400. See how it looks, see how it feels, see how it performs. So, like I said before, I've got 10.5 head down to 9.5, and, and I've got the stock altar shaft in stiff flex. So when it sits behind the ball, I still quite like the turbulators and the dragonfly technology. I think everything kind of angles in towards the golf ball as well, so visually I think it, it's quite appealing. So let's get going, see how it actually performs. And I like the sound. I think it's, it's very different from last year's driver. You know, I think it feels, it's not as loud, I don't think, off the face as last year's model, which, you know, a bit of noise is a good thing because it makes it feel like it's going a bit further. But I do think some of the products over the last couple of years has been getting a bit too loud for me again, but felt very, very solid off the face. So first instinct was, or first reaction, quite like that. And again. Yes, I do like how that sounds. Be interesting to look at numbers. Because like I said, historically for me, their standard models have always spun a bit too much. So in theory, I suppose a bit more spin for a lot of guys is good for a bit of accuracy, but might just cost them a few yards. So it's always trying to get that balance. Can have not enough spin on driver as well. That does feel very, very nice. So last couple. I'm interested not just to see kind of how the driver performs, but you know, the, the promise of less drag, I think will be Interesting to see if I pick up any club head speed because it's nice and warm down here at Lytham Golf Academy today So I've not got loads of layers on hindering me moving as quick as I could And yeah, I think they're good A little bit left and right, but I think that's me rather than kind of the driver The strikes have been fairly solid So let's go one final one with G400 and then look at some numbers. I do like that. Okay guys, so let's have a look at kind of ball numbers and kind of see if we get that performance from the driver. But let's also check club head speed and see if I've picked any up with the promise of reduced drag. So if we look over the five shots, we've got an average ball speed of 156. So quickest of 159, which is good. It's not the quickest I've seen, but I suspect with less loft, I'd pick up a little bit more. Uh, but 159 to 154, pretty decent. Launching at 12 and a half. So probably launching round about where I would want. 
This is kind of the bit of the killer for me with this model, backspin of 2,862. So there's nothing exceptionally low there, and equally there's nothing stupidly high, but I think the standard model for me would be too spinny. Therefore, I'd actually quite like to try the LS Tech, which will be coming soon, see how that actually performs. So with a bit too much spin, I think we just see my peak height being a little bit too high. But the very impressive numbers here, average carry 258, and I'm only going from 265 to 255. So some, some really good dispersion front to back, even if right and left is a little bit more me than the driver. So we move across on to um, club data, and the key one here is actually just club head speed. So I'm probably normally between 108 and 111, so quickest one at 110, slowest one at 108. Average of 109, I don't think I saw any additional club head speed from the alleged less drag involved. Okay then guys, so we've looked at some numbers there and there's some good numbers, you know, some very good numbers from standard G400. Would this be the model for me? Probably not, like I've said a few times in the video, I think the LS Tech model for me personally, maybe nine and a half head, off a little bit, I'll pick up some ball speed, keep the spin down, hit it a little bit further. I agree with all the, the technology in there about making it higher MOI. I still think left to right dispersion ultimately comes down to me if I'm hitting it in a, a similar place. It's whether I'm getting the club face in different places. So like everything, it's about getting fitted. I think any of you guys that are out there who already love the Ping product will definitely want to try G400 in one of its various models. But get set up properly. Correct loft, correct shaft, get on a launch monitor and kind of see what works and what doesn't. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Please comment below and I'll try and get back to you. Follow me on all the social media platforms. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.